As is typical, all the Niger sites are located, were located on commonly held lands. These are lands controlled by uh, village chiefs and their families, and which are disproportionately um, relied upon by these areas, um, most politically vulnerable people, the women and pastoralists. Unfortunately, we have observed uh, signs that the technical success of these projects has led to what, I'm re what I referred to just, just now as a social enclosure process that removes access of the most vulnerable to these lands in the longer term. This is a photo of a biocarbon site that was so technically successful um, that, um, that an elite farmer chose to remove the planted trees to establish his field on these reestablished soils. This is that field in the, in the foreground at the lower part of the, uh, the slide. This action by this farmer effectively transferred the land from community control to more private control. These are like titled lands, titled to this farmer, but the fact that he has cleared the land and is farming it in terms of customary land tenure gives him greater rights, greater individual rights to that land uh, once he's done that. Um, it's just also important that as a member of the chieftaincy, he has the absolute right to do this, right? This is not something we, you know, this is not corruption. This is, this is the way customary land tenure works um, in, in, in Niger and, 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 and actually in many parts of dry land, West Africa.